What's going on everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up luck perms groups for your whole network. This is mainly for a bunch of cord network where you can have global groups all across your servers and uh, that is what I recommend and that is what we're going to be showcasing for today's video. So with that being said, you will need to be running a bungee cord server and then have luck perms installed on each one of your spigot servers. If you guys want to know how to set up a bungee cord server, I will leave that video on the top right hand corner of the screen. You guys can go watch that how to set up a bungee cord network but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it as i mentioned you will be needing to run this on a bungee cord to make your groups global so currently i have a hub server my plugin server which i am currently on right now and a skyblock game mode for my other server so you want to be running luck perms on each one of your spigot servers this does not include a bunch of luck perms because that is completely different uh, so make sure you're running luck perms on each one of your spigot servers so if you go ahead and do lp list groups currently these are all the groups i have on my plugin server. If you guys are starting out brand new and fresh, you'll just have one default group. I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to make groups. This is just gonna be showcasing how to set up and get these groups globally. So for example, in my case, I want to have each one of these different types of groups on all my servers that I've already had. So in order to do that, if you already have groups set up, this is very important. You need to do LP and then export and then a file name. So I'm just gonna call this a global. So go ahead and export that and I will export the log to this if you don't have any group set up already you can just go ahead and ignore this command but this is necessary for those that you have already had groups set up so go ahead and export that and then now let's go over to our file manager today's video is brought to you by Sangata Sangata is a marketplace where you can find and download free or premium plugins to help your server stand out from the crowd this consists of many developers that are well known or just starting out if you guys want to check out that the link will be down in the description so switching over to our luck perms configuration files you want to just go into your luck perms and go into the main config and this is where you're going to be editing everything with your database and so you need to have a mysql database in order for your global groups to register properly so if you are using revive node you can come check out the link down in the description and use my code striker for 15 percent off your purchase so once you are on your server you can go to your database tab and this will uh, super easy create a database and you get three free databases with revive node which is super helpful and you can also use an external database if you want to as well so for this one i'm just going to call this uh, luck perms just to make it easy go ahead and create the database and just like so we'll have our database right there so once we have our database all set up, we want to go into our config.yml and we're going to scroll down just a little bit and where we see the storage option. And so here's all the different types of storage options. We're going to be using the MySQL one. So I'm going to change this to MySQL just like so. Scroll down just a little bit and here's where you're going to be entering the database information. So come back to your database and here is the MySQL uh, host and port. So 3306 is the default one already you don't have to input that unless you're using a different uh, port uh, I'm just gonna leave it there just make it easy and then we need our database name which is gonna be this name right here with luck perms it's pretty much just copy and pasting at this entire point which is really nice and then we need our username which is right here pop in that username right there and then we're gonna do our password as well so go ahead and input the password uh, right there so you're pretty much done at this point honestly if you don't have any groups already pre-made as I mentioned you're pretty much done at this point uh, because all you need to do now is just copy all your database information on each one of your spigot servers uh, in their configuration files and once you have done that go ahead and just restart all your servers and then it should be registered I'm gonna be doing a few extra steps just because I already made some groups so if you guys are like that just follow the next steps and then we can go ahead and get some more groups globally if you guys are like me and already have groups pre-made on one specific server, you can go ahead and follow these next steps. If you do not, you can go ahead and skip forward. Uh, but what I did is go ahead and input your database information on that server that already has the groups made. So in this case, this is my plugin server. So go ahead and input your database information in there. And so once we do that, we can go ahead and save that. And then remember at the beginning, we exported a file called global. So that is uh, the exported file we're going to be importing that a little bit later so go ahead and restart your server 
So now in game after we restarted, it is switched over to the MySQL storage system. So if we do LP list groups, it will only show the default group. That is because it is a new uh, storage system. So it's not using the local system, it's using the new MySQL system. So now uh, to do that, we need to go ahead and import our file that we exported before. And this will import all the groups that we have already saved. So you can do LP import and then that file name, which is global. And now we'll go ahead and start the importing process process and so when it's done we should get all our groups back. So once your import is done, we can go ahead and do LP list groups. Now that we have our import done, these are all registered with a MySQL storage system. So that is working properly. So now we can go ahead and connect the rest of our servers with MySQL and we should get all of these groups in our other servers. So let me go ahead and switch over to my Skyblock server right now, just to show you guys. If we do LP list groups on my other server, as you see, it still is the default because we haven't connected it to our database yet. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So now, no matter if you already had groups set up or you started with the blank slate, all you have to do now is copy all your database information to each one of your spigot servers. So that's what I'm going to head and do right now. Now I'm going to switch over to my Skyblock server, go into my plugins folder, go into luck perms, and then go into the config.yml. Now let's go ahead and hook this one up to the database. So I copied about from right here to the password, all the way up to storage method, go ahead and paste it in there and save that file. Now let's go ahead and restart the server and then now I can do this to my hub server as well. All right, so back in game, let's go ahead and switch over to my Skyblock server after we have restarted it and added everything to the MySQL. So let's go ahead and join in. And if we do LP list groups, we should get all the different types of groups that we already made. And there we go. As you see, now my groups are now global. So let's go ahead and go to my hub server to make sure that that is also added properly. So if we wait for it to load in real quick. So now I am on my hub server currently. So if we do LP list groups, we should get all the other ones as well. So wait for it, there we go. So now if I go ahead and talk, as you see, I don't have any, I'm not in any part of any group. So if I go ahead and do LP user and then soul striker, which is my name and go ahead and do a parent and then set and let's go ahead and add myself to the YouTuber rank. So now if I go ahead and add myself and as you see, it is in context global. So let's go ahead and say, hi now if we go to the server let's go to the server skyblock and uh we should have the same rank again so let's go ahead and wait for it to load in and if i type uh, like asdf there we go as you see i have my global groups and the last one that we need to test is go to the plugin server and there we go we just joined and if we type in uh, this and we have our global groups and every time that you add or remove a permission from your global groups uh, depending on how you set it it will affect it globally and you can add it per uh, server as well. You just have to specify if you want to add it per server or global in whatever permission that you set. So that is how you get global groups on your Minecraft network. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.